Welcome back to another exciting episode of HeroScape Battle Brothers. I'm MK Plus Ultra. That's Alex. And this is battle number two of the fourth season. Uh, we're giving Alex some practice with the Knights. So this will be his second battle with the Knights going up against some Glads and Blasts this time. Next week will be the final battle with Alex's Knights, and then we're moving on to my team that I want practice with. And uh, Alex will be creating three brand new armies. And so after our little, little double series here, it's going to be the viewer's choice. So any episodes you want to see us run again, any episodes that we've done in the past that you want to see updated armies, maybe it was unfair because one of us didn't play by the rules, um, maybe both of us didn't play by the rules and you just want to see it run again. We uh, would love to run back whatever you want to see. We definitely have some favorites and we definitely have some in mind that we would want to run back. But we are leaving it all up to you guys. Another little reminder, as I try to do every episode, is this right here is up for grabs. This Fortress of the Archiri brand new inbox. It could be yours. All you have to do is go to the Grudge Match giveaway to battle thank you to everyone who's already entered the winner will be drawn as part of season four's season finale so tune in to every episode this season and when that comes get your raffle tickets out because it's time to pick a winner i also just want to say that alex and i are so pumped for this new era of heroescape this age of annihilation we've already done an update video and we've been talking on the side about it. It's it, all these updates, such great news. I've been putting the daily updates with the designer's notes uh, on my Instagram every day, underscore MK plus ultra underscore. I've been updating it daily. Uh, me and Alex have an update video that we did a, <laughs> a few weeks back. And every Sunday, I've been part of the Tales of Valhalla's live stream. Uh, we turned it into a podcast, actually, also, where we're just talking about the updates giving predictions, uh, just talking about what we've seen so far and how it relates to the Heroescape lore from the past, how it's going to change the future of Heroescape. So it's just a good discussion with a good panel, uh, guys that I met at ScapeCon. Just a shout out to all the guys on the panel, Jeremy, Ryan, Joe, and Jason, all of you guys. They all have their own channels. I'll link them below, actually. Um, but And I'll actually link the podcast, too. So if you guys want to give it a listen, please do so. Support the podcast. Support TOV. They're doing some great things over there. And yeah, I've just become really good friends with those guys. Also, just around the corner, some huge news for Age of Annihilation. October 1st, it will be Hasbro's PulseCon. I believe it will be like a live streamed uh, event. And they will be dropping some info about Heroescape. So please uh, stay tuned. Tune in for that. More information to come, but it is Saturday, October 1st. Some awesome uh, exclusive news about Heroescape Age of Annihilation to be dropped. So please tune in for that. And so that's pretty much all for the uh, morning announcements. Uh, now we can get into the meat of the battle, what you're here for. So before we get into the teams, uh, we literally just randomized some glyphs right this second. And we placed them here and here. This is the glyph of Lodin and it adds one to your D20 roll. And surprise, surprise, the Glyph of Alanova, the unique attack plus one. Like I said, they were randomized out of five glyphs, so we got one again, but oh well, we're gonna run with it. And so as you can see, the map is Origin by Flash19. We have played on it multiple times before. We love this map. 
It is an awesome competitive map. And one really good thing to note about this map is it's exclusively, or it can be built exclusively with the Rise of the Valkyrie Master Set. All of these tiles are in the Rise of the Valkyrie Master Set, except I've made one of my own little, not improvements, but adjustments to the map is I've used two long ruins as opposed to the long one and the short one that comes with the Rise of the Valkyrie. But one of these would just be the uh, shorter ruin from Rise of the Valkyrie, but that's the only difference between this one and one that you could use right out of the box from Rise of the Valkyrie. So this is a good map. If you guys are just starting out, if you only have the master set, this is a good competitive map to just, you know, try out armies, uh, try out the new figures that you guys are getting. But yeah, awesome map. Origin by Flash 19. We are sticking with the same parameters from the last battle, and we will be using those same parameters for the next battle. The parameters were no more than 520 points and 20 figures. All right, so I'll introduce my army first. Uh, I'm running with a Glad's Blast build, and I'm running two squads of the Blastatrons, three squads of the Gladiatrons, and this big boy right here, Major Q10. It's probably more optimal to bring Raylan in this setup right here, but she would have taken a real big hit to my points because I'm already sitting one figure. I'm actually sitting a Gladiatron to fit in another figure. So I still would have had to sit this figure because it's 20 uh, Glad's Blasts uh, together. It's 20, and then I want to add an extra figure. So if I only added Raylan, I would have taken a hit to the points, but since I brought Major Q10, He's sitting right, this army is sitting right at 510 points and 20 figures. And also, I really wanted to use Major Q10 as a shout out to the new Age of Annihilation. There has been some designer notes dropped that we are getting a Major Q10 2.0. So would that make him a Major Q11? We don't know. But yeah, so go check out those designer notes. They have been dropping awesome stuff for the Age of Annihilation. We are so pumped. So yeah. 21 figures, sitting uh, glad so that I can fit in Major Q10, 510 points. Alex? Over on my side, I'm running the Knight's Army, and I have Sir Gilbert leading them over here. Uh, right next to him, I've got Alistair McDirk, four squads of the Knights of Weston, and then Marku. Big, bad Marku. Awesome. And so if it looks weird over there, we have a couple proxy cards. Uh, my Marku and my Sir Gilbert card are nowhere to be found. And also, if you see those dice over there, those are actually their wound markers. So they're all sitting at six life. So every time a life or a wound comes off of them, he'll turn it down one. He did that in the last uh, battle. So if you guys are curious about that, that's just what he's doing. All right. Um, uh, final adjustments made. Order markers set. Rolling for that first initiative of the second battle of the fourth season. Ten. Very middle of the road. Very middle. As middle of the road as you can get. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a six. That's a six. All right. Order marker number one is on the Blastatrons. And they have movement bonding with the Glads, so I can move four Gladiatrons and then move four Blastatrons. But the Gladiatrons can't attack, it's only movement bonding. All right, that was four Glads, now for the Blastatrons move All right, that's done, your turn. All right, my number one is the Knights of Weston. Oh, I'm gonna human champion bond with Sir Gilbert. All right, uh, before I take my turn with the Knights, I'm gonna... Jandar's dispatch them. And you get a 17. <laughs> One. 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 All right, moving four knights, one space. And now well, I'm going to move some of my knights. All right, that was his knights. It was my number two. He was on the Blastatrons. So I will go ahead and move with four Gladiatrons. Nine. 
just made a little adjustment to the map uh, you probably just saw, but um, it's even now. And luckily none of our figures have made it up to that map, uh, point of the map so far. But however, that totally changes my game plan now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, move some blads now, four blasts. All right, that's my movement. Alex's Numero Dos. All right. And number two, I've got the Knights of Weston again. Of Weston again. I'm the human champion Bond with Sir Gilbert. I'm gonna use Jandar's Dispatch. Get none. Go ahead and take a turn with some knights. Right, for my number three, I have it on the Blastatrons. And again, with the Gladiatron movement bonding. Four. All right, so I'll attack the knights. The uh, Blastatrons have a range of seven. So I'll attack this one first with this Blastatron right here. They have attack of one, plus one for the height. Blink. And then now this one, we'll attack that one down there. Uh, this one. Blink again, not off to a good start here. And this last one, we'll attack uh, this, this one over here. And gets one. Already rolling defensive four for this knight and gets one. My number three is on the Knights of Weston. I'm gonna bond with Sir Gilbert. Use his dispatch. There's gonna be a huge one right here. One. <laughs> huge. It was a friggin' huge. I mean, four knights, one space. I love that. Now I'm gonna take a turn with the knights. And that is the end of the round. Setting up the order mark for this. Order marks placed. Initiative roll. Five. Nine. Nine. I rolled one less than you did last time. You rolled one less than I did last time. What are nice. the odds? Number one on the Knights of Weston. I'm gonna bond with Sir Gilbert. And I'm not gonna say anything about this roll. It's gonna be a good one. I mean, I guess it's cocked. You can roll. You can roll the cocked. Uh, dispatch. That was only one. One symbol so far. Hopefully he'll get lucky and roll just one and get a symbol. Nope. Died on nine. <laughs> Alrighty. Four knights, one space again. For the third time. So that means it's only going to get up from here. Like you could have said that three times ago, but now it's like true because we didn't go anywhere. And so now we can only go up from here. So take it as a good sign. Man. Thanks. And that means those, those mid game. Jandar's dispatches are going to be heavy and you're going to, they're going to hurt. They're going to hurt with initiative switches and, and whatnot, like you just got right now. All right, I mean, four nights, one space. One space here. One space. All righty. I'm going to take a turn with four nights. All right. My number one. It's in the Blast Tron, of course. Gladiatron movement bonding. All right, four glads moved. Now it's time to move four blastatrons. All right, so these four blastatrons have line of sight on three knights over here. Uh, this one up here, but then I'm gonna be attacking these two. So this one back here, we'll attack this knight up here. 
Uh, they do have height advantage, so they get a buff of one. It's one. Pulling defense of four. It's two. All right, that same one with this one in the back. Links it out. All right, now these two guys, uh, this one will attempt to shoot the same guy. It's one. Pulling defense of four. And whiffs. Whiffs. Alright, and then now this guy will shoot between this Gladiatron's legs and shoot this guy. One. Roll four. It's one. Oof. Alrighty. My number two is on the Knights of Weston. I'm gonna bond with Sir Gilbert. I'm roll for Jandar's Dispatch. One again. One again. Moving four knights, one space. Now we take a turn with the knights. And number two is on the Blastatrons, of course. All right, and I just moved that Blastatron after my Gladiatron movement, and I will stay there with the rest of my Blastatrons. And I'll shoot with these four guys again. Uh, two down onto this knight next to Sir Gilbert. Uh, with this blast, one. This one. On this one behind Sir Gilbert, if you guys can't see. I want four dice for this one. Whips. But I got two uh, gender symbols, which is cool. On four dice, that's helpful. What do you got? Dead. <laughs> uh, I was more upset about the two gender symbols than I was about my knight actually dying. dying. This one back here, I'll we'll shoot this one right here. It's two. Gets two. One we'll defensive four. Gets two. Ooh. Lucky block. Well, timely block. Um, this one back here, we'll shoot that same knight down here if you guys can't see. He's directly right here. One. Roll four. It's two. All right, that was my number three. And so this is my fourth guy, uh, which I, I think is this guy who hasn't shot yet. Uh, I have four right here. Whoever hasn't shot last and who hasn't shot yet will shoot this last knight directly right here behind Sir Gilbert. It's one. Roll four. It's two. All right, and so that was my glads and my blasts. So let's just go. My number three, it's on the Knights of Weston. Let me go ahead and use Sir Gilbert. And I will use Jandar's Dispatch. How many? Five. Five. See? Five. It pays off, finally. There they were. There they were. I get to move four knights, five spaces. Okay, now I'm gonna take a turn with the knights. Alrighty, so I'm gonna attack uh, Evans right here. Or, er, yeah, right here, that's cool. Get three, and with of that. Get a symbol. Uh, got a symbol though, yeah. <laughs> uh, Evans there, again. One. All right. They have a defense of three plus one for their melee defense. They're attacked by a different figure. They get one. Oh, wow. Uh, this one. Yeah. First glad off the board, except for the one that I sat. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Alrighty. Now rolling down against that black there. With four. Gets two. Ooh. Defense of four. Another nice attack. No rolling down on that one there. It was four. It's two. Four. It's one. My number three is on the Blastatrons. I will move my Gladiatrons first. All right, so now I will move four Blastatrons into position. 
All right, so I moved this one right here. I will be attacking this knight with this Blastatron. And this knight is surrounded by three uh, Gladiatrons. And with the homing beacon, I get uh, plus one for every Soulborg that follows Vidar. That is next to the figure that I'm attacking, any non-adjacent figure when I'm attacking a non-adjacent figure. So that's one plus three onto this knight, and you do have height. That's two. That one fell out. Two. All well, right. We're on defensive five. We can roll the box <laughs> here for a second. Um, I think I'll roll in my box. Five dice. Ooh. Gets three, a big old three. Ouch. All right, so that same one, I will, I'll attack with this one over here. Uh, this one. He has height advantage again, but I am rolling three attack dice, and I get three. So he has a defense of five. All righty, defense of five, rolling five dice. And gets oh four. Oh my God. Gets four. Gets four. Let's go. That was great defense. All right, I will shoot again uh, with this one actually over here. Uh, he'll shoot him. So again, defense of five to my four attack. It's only one and three shields. So defending against one. Five, rolling five dice. Gets three. Again, let's go. Shooting this one with my last Blastatron. Only gets one. Uh, five, on five dice. Gets two. <sighs> wow, that was rough. Send him up the order markers. Order marker set, initiative roll. That's, that's a 20, that's a 20. That's 20. <laughs> just, like, just, just, like, no. You literally bumped into it and it like, rolled over. All right. 20. Well, here's the 20. 11. Luckily, I got a 20 because we need to run that back because that was atrocious what happened last time. So my number one is on the Blastatrons. It's now time for the Blastatrons to do work. All right, I will start with this one. Shooting up right here. Uh, again, attack of four but he does have a height advantage. So he's rolling for five defense. One measly X. Five rolling five dice. It's one. All right, up again on this one. Four critical, critical hits. He does have five defense. All right, he's rolling five defense. Five new dice. It's three. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I was about to flip over the table. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Now I have two more attacks. I will attack into this guy. Evens uh, with this one. So again, now I'm rolling uh, four. Well, I mean, I'm rolling four still, but he's even now. So he's rolling four defense. And I only get one. Look at that good defense. Four, rolling four dice. Gets one. Right, rolling even again uh, with this blast onto this one. He has a defensive four, I have an attack of four. And you get three. All righty. Four, rolling four dice. It's one, he's dead. All right, Alex is numero uno. Yes, it is. It's on the Knights of Weston. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a turn with Sir Gilbert. All right, there, I took my turn. Uh, I'm going to get dispatch now. Yeah. You can get one. Again. One. Gonna move four knights, one space. So that's what the dice said. All right, I'm going to take a turn with my knights. I'm going to attack down here first. Get four. Get two. Defensive two. 
gets two. Defensive four. Defensive four gets two. Trying to defend it gets two. <laughs> uh, now it downed here with four. Gets two. Two again. Defense on four. Two again. Down on that same guy. Mm -hmm. Gets two again. Defensive four. All right, now rolling three evens right there. It's one. All right, surely I can't blink again. Almost. <laughs> and I hate that. Now it's my yeah. turn to attack, and I'm not going to get any attacks. Switch up the tips. Cool mark. For sure. These ones are shields. Yep. <laughs> you need to cool off uh, for a little bit. All right, my number two is on the Blastatrons. All right, that was four glads. Now for four blasts. So this Blastatron will shoot this knight and he has four soul bars that follow Vidar adjacent to him. So it's one plus four, which gives an attack of five, this one. Evens gets four. Four running four dice gets one. He's dead. All right. So for my second attack, this Blastatron will shoot evens onto this knight. With three and gets two. Rolling defensive four. And yes. This Blastatron right here will shoot over at this one. He has two next to him. So I have attack of three on even uh, playing grounds, playing field. One. I like attack of four. It's one. So I'll attack with this one because I moved him and I have to move. I have to attack now. So he's attacking with three up and doesn't get any. Alrighty, my number two is on the Knights of Weston. I'm going to bond with Sir Gilbert and. I'm gonna use Jenga yeah. Dispatch. Dispatch! Three. It's all three. I'll take it. I'll very much so take it. Moving four knights, three spaces. And I'm gonna take a turn with four knights. All right. I'm gonna attack evens here with three. And with. I'm gonna attack evens here with three. Get two. Defensive four, it's two. Great, I'm gonna attack uh, evens here with three. Gets one. Defense of four. Doesn't get it, this one. Rolling down here with four. And whiffs. My number three is on the blasts. So I'm gonna move my glads. All right, that's all the glads I want to move. And then now for blasts. All right, I moved my blastatrons into position and I will shoot uh, with this blastatron. I'll shoot over at this knight, uh, surrounded by three glads. Attack of four, three plus one for all of the soul boards adjacent. It just gets one. All right, we're only defensive four. And just gets none. Three and symbols. Three right? symbols. Three virus. Well, I mean, three Can't pull symbols. one for a gender dispatch, but pulls three on the on the roll of four dice. Yeah. That. So that was my first one. Checking down. And he's next to one. So I have an attack of three. It's two. And that was this one onto this one because I moved him back. Alrighty, one defense of four. Gets two. Oh wow. All right, now uh, this one will shoot down. Uh, he's next to two, plus one for the height, so that's a total attack of four. It's two. Well, oh, defensive four, four dice. It's two. Ooh. That same one, attack of four, with this one, my last one. Three. Four, four defense, rolling four.
my number three. It's on the Knights of Weston. Use uh, Jandar's Dispatch. Come to bond with Gilbert. And I'm probably gonna get one. Seven. Or I'll get none. Uh, I could also get zero. That's something that could happen. I didn't think about that. I don't know why I didn't think about that because it already happened. So, should have been in the back of my mind. So we can move four nights, zero spaces. Cool, yeah, let me think about that. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take a turn with my knights. Gonna attack uh, evens here first with three, three big ones. Ooh, there she is. is. Three big ones. There she blows. All right, rolling a four defense. Three big ones. Ooh, that's close. <laughs> Almost. That's close. These even dice. Remember we were talking about yeah. how even these dice were. Yep. Uh, now evens here. Evens. Evens. It's two. Defense of four. Gets two. Uh, rolling up. Ski is here with three. Gets one. But I got two gender symbols, which is awesome. Again. So for the up skis roll, uh, I have just in case one. You guys forgot. I got zero. Twice. Um, in the last one, you rolled three symbols yep. on four dice. Yup. <laughs> uh, defense of five. Because of the four, three base, one melee. One height, and I get three. Saved by the saved by the shield. Order markers placed. Initiative roll for whatever round number it is. Thirteen. Lucky number. Lucky number. Ooh. You sure? Thirteen is higher than eleven. It is, in fact, higher than eleven. Number one is on glass. Glass. Last, but I'm moving glass first. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get it. If you've been here this whole time, you get what's going on. If you, if you don't know what's going on <laughs> and you've been watching this whole time, thank you for watching. Like, I applaud you. Like, I, I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. I'm not <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching. If you don't know what's going on and you're still here, props, mad props. Like, thank you. You're probably a family member or something. <laughs> moving with my gladiatrons. Now moving with blasts. All right, so I don't want to move any more blasts. I'll just start shooting, attacking with this blast onto this knight with five. One for his regular, one for height, and then three for these glads. Three. Oh, he says a four. Whips. Okay. That's that one. All right, so now this blast will shoot down into this knight. So it's one plus one for height, plus two for those glads. Gets two evens. Four on the of four. Ooh, Gets four. All of them. Again, one more. So that was one. That was two. That was third one. Two. Four, one, four big bones. It's one. And so now this one will shoot down. Uh, he has a buff of one for the height and a buff of one for this glad. Two. One defense of four. Great attack. He literally killed himself. Um, my number one is on the Knights of Weston. All right, with my knights, I don't know what I'm gonna do, to tell you the <laughs> truth. I already feel like I lost this game. I definitely feel like I lost this game. Um, but we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun losing. I'm just gonna bond with Sir Gilbert. Sir Gilbert's gonna move right there. Um, he's gonna use this, I guess. Yeah, it's a good move. <laughs> Take it zero. Hey. It's a good move. Oh god. And four. That's, that's the one four. the one he rolls the most nonchalant and cares the least about. He gets that the second most. Also means the least. Just can't really do much with it. Alrighty, I'm gonna take a turn with these guys. We'll do that. Attacking 
Uh, even tier number three. Gets three. Ooh. Right here. Gets two. Already rolling up here with three. It's one. Four for the melee defense, plus one for the height. Five. One. Yep. Uh, my number two <laughs> is on the blasts. All right, so I'm going to move one glad over here. So I only have four glads left. So I'm moving with my blast charms. All right, so I'll attack down with this one that I moved over here. I'll attack down onto him. So he's next to two glads and the height. So one plus two glads plus the height. Attacking down with four. It's two. This one onto this one. It's only a defensive four. That's four dice. That's one. All right, so the second one that I moved, I'm going to shoot over at this one. He's next to a glad, so that's plus one. And I have height, so it's another plus one. Attack of three. It's a one. Uh, four dice, rolling four. It's one. Is that? Oh, yeah. It is one. There's also two gender symbols there. I think that's what you're mistaking it for. I, I can't think that was. Yep. Uh, this one will shoot down. So he's surrounded by three, so it gives me plus three. And I have height, which is plus one more. So a full attack of five. Down off of this one. Three. Well, you're to four. Gets two. So this one will attack down. One plus one plus one for the height and this guy. Two. One defensive four. Zero. And the knights are almost all but wiped out. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true statement. It's Alex's number two, but if it's not his number two, oh well, we just got sidetracked. Uh, but we think it's Alex's number two, and I'm pretty sure it is. Alrighty, and that's going to be on the Knights of Weston. Alrighty, I'm gonna human champion bond with Alistair McDirk. Mm -hmm. A few spaces up here. And now I'm gonna turn knights. So I'm actually gonna move Alistair McDirk right here. Um, I'm gonna engage with that guy there. And attack <clears throat> with four this time. Because Sir Gilbert's, uh, you know, a little buff there. Okay, four even, it gets one. That's a four with <clears throat> melee, it's one. All right, my number three. All right, I moved uh, the gladiatrons that I wanted into position. Now moving the blastatrons I want into position. All right, I will shoot down with the one that I moved up here. Surrounded by three Solbergs, and I have the height advantage. Three Solbergs, plus one, plus one. I'm going to attack a five. Rolling down with the attack of five, <clears throat> gets two. Rolling a defense of four, gets all skulls. You guys just want to die. <laughs> all right, so that freed up this Blastatron, and now he will shoot down on Sir Gilbert. And Sir Gilbert is surrounded by three, plus the one. Uh, for height, three. Sir Gilbert has a defense of four. Gets two. Takes four. All right, so that was one and two. And then now I will shoot with uh, this blast tron over here. Attack of five again onto Sir Gil. Two. Only defense of four. One. Takes another one. And then now my last one right here. Same thing. Attack of five. Gets three. Only defense of four. Gets none. Takes three. One left. Alrighty. My number three. It's on the Knight of Weston. <laughs> Uh, bonding with Alistair McDirk. We're gonna boop, 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 boop. Um, 
And now I'm going to attack with six. 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 The big okay. stick. <laughs> this one right there. You get three. All right. This one right here has a defense of four. Defense of four. It's two. Alrighty. I'm gonna overextend. Six again against that guy right there. He gets Ooh. all six. Is that all six I see? Jeez. All six. Can't even defend. Can't even defend. Oh. It's a he put six on me. No can defend. That's the way to use Alistair McDirk. He killed my Cyprian last game, and that was rough. Maybe the zombies could have stood a chance if Cyprian survived, but this guy said, no, 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 you die, Cyprian. Again, you undead bastard. Uh, all right, and I'm gonna take a turn with my knight. And get all of his face. I'm like, get off my flag bearer. Rolling three dice gets mm. two. I thought it was gonna be all three. I thought it was gonna be a real get off my flag bearer <laughs> moment, but it is because it's gonna die off of two. And he dies off of two. Hands off my gimpy. All right, setting up the order marker. That's a little knife right there. It is. All right, order marker is placed. Initiative roll. 15. 11. 11. All right, my number one is on the blastings right here. Or the cyberphone. Okay. Okay. All right, so I moved this one onto the glyph. I moved this guy. And I'm just going to shoot his little pot shot first. Since he's adjacent, he only gets one. And he gets an X. On to uh, Alistair. He has a defense of three. Ooh! Uh -oh. The little one worked out. All right, and then now the rest can shoot with three. Uh, I'll shoot with this one where Alistair has a height advantage. So I'm shooting up with four, surrounded by three. 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 Ooh. Wow. Big. All right. Big. So he's surrounded by three, and I have these two up here. All right, so this one will roll down five. It's one, measly one. That's a three. That's two. All right, and then now the second one. Three. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, defense three. Three dice. It's two. Nope, big defense. Alrighty. My number one is on Alistair McDirk. I'm going to attack with six. Evens here. We get two. And the blasts have a defense. I mean, the blasts have a defensive two. He gets one. Oh, and six up against that blast right there. Oh, sorry. Uh, overextend. I'm gonna take one. Cut onto two there. Attack on six. And get two. Two. And as a defensive three, he's up on height. Hey. And gets three X's of swords which means attack on these dice. <laughs> All right, my number two is on my boy Major Q10 over here. All right, I'll come right here. He's eight spaces away, has a range of eight, and they're on even playing field. His attack of four plus one for the unique attack lift. He's attacking with five. Gets four. Well, the Put him three. to sleep, Major Q10. What kicks two and he's dead? Put him in the ground. All right, so now you're number two. Two is your turn. Two is my turn. So my number three, my number three is on the blast. All right, so he is gonna shoot down 
uh, onto, well, he's not even shooting, he's probably gonna slap him with his gun. He's gonna pistol whip Sir Gilbert in his face uh, for two. He's gonna attack one plus one for the height. Ooh, get him out of here. It's still, oh, it doesn't work at all if it, you're adjacent. Yeah, it's, okay. if it's adjacent. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, Gilbert's running four. He's gonna block one. One and then die from the then pistol die. whip. The pistol whip. All right, Sir Gilbert. I'll take one from both of you. <laughs> Sir Gilbert dies. You need to kill Marku? Yeah. Oh, you have a knight left too. Sorry. Yep, all ready. All right, Gilbert dies. Now it's time to set up the order markers again. All right, he's hoping for the Marku um, Clean sweep. <laughs> Let's see if it happens. Order markers place, initiative roll. 12. 12, seven. Nice. All right, my number one is on some blasty boys. And I will glad, I will gladiatron movement with him. That's crazy. I'll just go over here and actually cyber call this guy. Cool. And then now for blast movement. All right, so this guy will shoot down on Marku with two. This one down on Marku. Two. That's one. Takes two. This one. Two. That's one. Takes two. Two. Now this one. One. Defense one. One! Seven. This last one is gonna end the game. Rolling two. One. And that's the game. Mark who has been felled in one turn of the blasts. Thank you for staying till the end. That was an awesome battle. We got that one win against the Knights, and I think this was the squad to do it. Uh, those Jandar dispatches really... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sucked, didn't they? They were terrible. Right? <laughs> they were really bad. It was, like, laughable how bad they were. Super unforge, actually. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the phrase to capture uh, this battle. Super... Soups. Unforch. Soups Unforch. That was that battle was definitely Soups Unforch. Soups Unforch for Al. Um, <laughs> uh, next one, he has a chance. He has one more chance to redeem himself. I mean, he won the first one, so he doesn't have to redeem himself. But he has one more battle to uh, come out actually on top of this series. He is sitting at one and one. He has a win against the zombies, and he just lost against the Vlad's glass. <laughs> against the Vlad's glass, I'm sticking to it. Um, it's a reminder, Grudge Match Giveaway 2, you can sign up, or you can enter, follow those steps, and be entered to win in the giveaway to win the brand new Fortress of the Archive reset. October 1st, PulseCon. It's going to be dropping some major info about Heroescape Age of Annihilation. So be there or be square. If there's nothing else to say, uh, I guess, like always, my friends, what we do in life echoes in eternity.